What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today's episode two of Thermal Paste Showdown and today we're looking at a thermal paste from Iceberg Thermal. Um, I've previously done fans and cooler from these so thanks again for sending this out. This is their Fuse Ice Plus Thermal Paste and uh, basically we're just going to get it on the testing. As mentioned in episode one, it's 1700X with the Solentium uh, Fortis cooler on it. So yeah, we're going to get this installed. I'll just give you a quick uh, close-up of the specs so you can have a look at what the specifications are on it without me reading them out and boring you. Um, if you want to know any more, obviously you can look on their website. Um, so let's get this installed and then we'll talk about the results at the end. Right, so I've done the testing on the Fuse Ice Plus from Iceberg Thermal and it's looking like a winner to me. It looks like we might have a new leader in terms of over ambient temperatures. Um, so let's quickly talk about those. But before I do that, I just want to quickly talk about the actual tube itself. It's quite cool. Um, I'm not sure if any other companies do this, but uh, I'm quite impressed by this. As you can see, it is like a little syringe. However, you can pop this cap off and hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's literally got a built-in spreader. So you literally put it on and spread it back as you squeeze. Uh, Really good idea, um, well done for that. <laughs> it's really good in, in design and uh, works really well as well. So that is very good so if you if you like to spread your thermal paste like some people do, I normally just blob it, but for this time I spreaded it because it made sense with that. Um, so that's a great idea. So anyway, let's get into the uh, into the performance. Um, again, um, I'll give you amb over ambient temperatures on screen for you to see the overall sort of how how well it went. Uh, but first of all, I'll give you like max and average and stuff like that. So in terms of the maximum temperatures, it got 63 degrees, Cinebench five minutes, all cores, an average of 50 degrees. Um, so kept quite low. Comparing that to previous results, MX6 um, was 62 and 57. So as you can see, seven degrees drop on the average, which basically shows that this held uh, the temperature increase back more than the MX6 did. So obviously it can transfer that heat quicker um which is good to see um so obviously it's still going to get to high temperatures it did get higher than the the mx6 technically um but it got there slower <laughs> um so in terms of like if you're doing it for gaming and stuff like that it might you might find lower temperatures because they obviously don't hit the cpu quite as hard so anyway uh at the time ambient temperature in here was 24.6 which is a degree a degree higher than what it was when i did my mx6 testing uh, idles of 38, which is uh, normal. Um, so then let's talk about over ambient temperatures. So idle over ambient was 13.4, so the best yet. Um, not by a lot, but by one degrees. Uh, over ambient maximum was exactly the same as the Optic MX4, so it shows this is a good thermal paste because, uh, sorry, MX6. This is a good thermal paste because obviously that MX6 is the best tested so far in, in my series. And then over ambient, in terms of the average, it was obviously by far the best by 8 degrees at 25.4 degrees over ambient. So absolutely fantastic result from uh, Iceberg Thermal. Uh, well done to those for this. Um, like I say, this is a series, so this is my second episode. There will be more and more coming. Uh, if you like this, guys, and you want to see uh, what the best thermal paste is out there, then stick with me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't dislike it, I don't mind. Uh, and if you have any comments, then leave them in the comment section below. And like I said in the previous videos, if there's a particular uh, thermal paste you'd like me to cover, then obviously let me know and I'll get around to it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.